Crochet Kitty is a handmade business that actually got started in 2008. We started off with my story basically that I bought a cat toy for my cat and of course he destroyed it. Um, but what was inside of it freaked me out as a pet parent. There were rocks in that toy and I decided I can make a better toy. <laughs> so I took my fashion design degree and I said, hey, let's make some toys. So I crocheted a mouse and so that's why we are called Crochet Kitty. And we just, from there, have made over 30, 40 different products now. We make custom toys here and when we make custom toys or any toy in that manner, I actually sit down and I sketch it out. I will scan it into my computer and then from there I will load it into our embroidery design software and kind of play with it from there and I take it to the machines and see what it comes out like and then if, you know, if it fails, then I go back to the, the drawing board of, you know, fixing it and whatnot. But it's a really cool process because you start somewhere and then you just see the progression as it keeps going along and you're going, oh my gosh, like, and you get so excited when you get to the end. Like the guitar was like the most coolest thing in the world because like I got done with it and I, I just held it up in the air and I was like, yes, I made this, this is so cool. <laughs> We are a safe cat toy, durable cat toy, stimulating cat toy for the consumers. Everything that we make here through the design process we take into consideration of how the cat's going to play with it and how it's going to interact with it and we want to make sure that it's safe like every step of the way so if your cat's going to bunny kick crazy on it we're making sure that we're sewing that seam like a billion times. <laughs> All our toys are quite different with the catnip that's in them. We have premium catnip that's actually tea grade, <laughs> tea grade catnip, so you can actually put it in your tea and drink it. So it's very potent and that's why the kitties like it. I go to pet stores and I actually do a break open the toys and it's amazing what you find in them, but the sheer amount of catnip in them, you only find like a little dime of catnip in them. And so it, it's not good that they don't have a lot to really attract them to the toy. We have about two tablespoons of catnip in most of our toys. And then when you get into our bigger toys, like the uh, Fat Cat Kicking Sharks and whatnot, and the guitars, they have a half a cup of catnip in them. So we definitely feel it so that it, it lasts a lot longer. So when you buy our toys, they have enough catnip in them that will make them go crazy. <laughs> I realized that I had a business when um, I actually got a call from a box subscription company and they wanted a thousand of our black cat toys. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, can I even make a thousand? There are so many things to accomplish with Crochet Kitty. Being in magazines, being on Fox 8, being at CatCon, I remember when I got accepted into CatCon for the first time, I was so excited. I was like beyond like, oh my God, I got into CatCon. So there's this like so many moments that have happened. I think the biggest thing is probably being nothing and being something in the long run. I mean, when you think about, you know, doing a hobby and whatnot, you just think of it as a hobby and then when you think of bigger picture and where you want to go, you go, oh my gosh, I could be this. And so I think that's the most exciting thing and most proud thing is just that I keep going, okay, I'm here, like, and I, I keep growing and I keep wanting to grow. Mm -hmm.